The 12.30 to Mull was on time today. In fact, it left open five minutes ahead of schedule. But it's not always like this. How would you sum up your experience of the ferry service? <laughs> Frustrating. And deteriorating. Especially over winter, I think, with the weather and that kind of situation, it gets cancelled quite frequently. Yeah, more services would be great, yeah. Yeah, I mean, especially for people who need the, the, the ferry. I, I Just purely leisure for me. The ferries are important to businesses here too, especially when your target market is tourists. If there's more ferries on, it, it would encourage more people to, to come in to the town. And of course, if, if it's cheap as well, if people can afford uh, to use the service, then that's going to encourage more people to come in. So I, I, I do think that it does have an impact. And these are the kind of improvements the RMT union wants to see. It's calling for more investment in the service. One of the real concerns is the ageing fleet. And while there are new ferries coming, the union says it's not happening quick enough. They're not reactive enough to the needs of the workforce and the needs of the communities that use them. And that, that's really what we're here. We're not here to have a go at Kilmack. We're here to say, let's work together. Let's make things better for everybody at Kilmack. The workforce who we represent and island communities who rely on Kilmack. But I'm pretty receptive to some of what RMT have to say and I'm keen to meet with them to discuss the campaign in a bit further detail. Rec Recognising, I think, some of the challenges that have affected our island communities uh, throughout the start of this year, I know, in terms of service provision on the Calmac network. There's hope things will improve, but given how many here feel, it's no wonder this isn't the name of the Calmac ferry. Susan Ripple, STV News, Oban.